So this one says uh, an astronaut exerts 100 newton force putting him into a space station, right? 100 newtons, by the way. 100 newtons of force is, let's see, 100 divided by 4.45. So that is actually about 22 pounds of force. So that's a reasonable amount of force, right? And the acceleration of the beam, so that's the, the force, right? The acceleration of the beam is 0 0.10 meters per second squared, right? So this is not a very big acceleration. And they want to know what is the mass of the beam. So we'll use F equals MA. Our force is 100 newtons, right? And then that equals the mass times 0 0.10 meters per second squared. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to solve for the mass. We're going to have to divide, right? So the mass will be uh, 100 newtons divided by 0 0.10 uh, meters per second squared. Now, chances are, by the way, uh, if you clicked on this problem and you wanted to look at it, you, you probably didn't need to have me show you the other divide, but I'm, you know, I've got to show you. Right? So that divided by 0 0.1 is just 1,000, right? So now it's 1,000 kilograms, right? And then they say, what's the percent of uncertainty? Well, that boils down to, and they don't, I don't feel like they don't tell us what, you know, what we need, right? So we'll just make something up. Somehow the answer is like 20%, right? Okay. So the question is, what is this plus or minus? Okay. I don't know. The way they've written it with no decimal point there could be plus or minus 100. Okay. Um, but it really could be, I guess, what plus or minus, uh, I guess it could be, if you say 100, no decimal point, that means it could be as big as 149 and as small as like 51 or something like that, or really 50.0001, right? Okay, so this is really plus or minus about 50. Okay, and then this guy, if you've written it this way, that means it's plus or minus, it's somewhere between, well, it's plus or minus 0 0.005 by the same token, okay? So to figure out percent uncertainty, basically you just find the actual uncertainty times 100, okay? So 100 times... And the fractional uncertainty here is 50 over 100, right? It's 50 parts of 100. That's that's going to give us 50%, by the way. No way are we going to get 20%, uh, right? Okay. Um, and then plus uh, 0 0.005 over 0 0.10, okay? And 0 0.005 means that we just don't know what this last digit is. So, okay, now if I do that, if I go 100 times parentheses 50 over 100, plus 0 0.005 divided by 0.1. I get that it's 55% uncertain, the way they've written it, right? So how could it be 20% uncertain? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. They've got to give us different things. It seems like they don't give us. So, so to get 20%, you'd have to figure out what these uncertainties would be. Okay. But this is how you do the main part of the problem like that.